Come on, worship with me this morning. There is power in the name of Jesus. Come on, church. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power. Come on. There is power in the name of Jesus. He's a mighty God. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. We love you, Jesus. Oh, he's breaking chains on this morning. Come on, just lift your hands to heaven and open your mouth. Just begin to give him praise. Begin to magnify him. Be begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Come on and open your mouth and begin to give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Yeah, I hear the chains. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Someone's chains are falling this morning. I hear the chains falling. I can hear chains falling all over the place. Demonic attacks over your life, over your marriage, over your finances, over your health, over your relationships shattered by the power of God, over your business, over your ministry, over your college education. Shattered in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you will be able to prosper. And every tongue that rise against you in judgment, we condemn it right now. The word of God declares, when the enemy comes against you like a flood, the spirit of the living God will raise a standard against him. God is raising a standard against the enemy in your life right now. You know, the Bible says, Satan comes like a roaring lion. He comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I've come that you can have life and have it more abundantly. I cover you this morning. I cover you in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare it over your life that even with the devil meant for evil, God will make it work together for good because you love God and you are called according to His purpose. It's working together for your good. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Someone say a good amen. So on this morning, this is what I want to share with you. You know, these seven days, we are talking about the miracles of Jesus. And nothing can build faith like when you talk about the miracles of Jesus. I get excited preaching about Christ and him crucified. I'm in love with Jesus. Christ is all. This is all about Jesus. Are you hearing me? And this is the word for you this morning. God is removing all limitations. That word is for someone. I say God is removing all, not some, all limitations. Now, let's go into the word of God in the book of Mark chapter 5, verses 25 through 34. The Bible says a woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding. Now, listen, let's give some, let's give some biblical historical background on what's happening here. This woman, we call her the woman with the issue of blood. She had this problem for 12 long years. And according to the customs of this day and time, she was not allowed to be out in public because she was considered unclean had anyone known what she was doing and had seen her they would stone her openly because she was considered unclean this is what they did back in the day aren't you glad we're in a different day and time and we got some crazy stuff that we got to deal with but she suffered with this problem for 
12 years without seeing any breakthrough, any type of change, that it takes some serious determination. I've got to give this woman credit. It takes serious determination to go from one doctor to the other and see no improvement. But this woman was determined to fight. And, and this is why you can't, you can't be quick to give up. I, listen, the Bible says if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. You cannot be quick to give up. Life is not for the weak. Are you listening to me? You've got to fight and hang in there until the breakthrough comes. Now watch this. So the Bible says in verse 26, she had suffered a great deal from many doctors and over the years she spent everything she had to pay them. But she had gotten no better. In fact, she had gotten worse. And this is the thing. I want you to see this. Sickness and poverty, all of these things spiritual forces they work together do you see that as a result of her sickness all of her money was spent it left her broke it left her in poverty she spent every dime she had she had no money left over that means you can see that's why that's why jesus called some of these things he called it a not everything but some of it he said a spirit of infirmity because this thing has a personality and it comes to accomplish something to me you can see the fingerprint of satan all over this he comes to steal to kill and destroy he was destroying her health and her financial life at the same time all of her savings was gone he wiped her, this sickness just wiped this woman clean can you see this is the work of the enemy now watch this i love this verse 27 verse 27 says she heard about jesus when she heard about jesus she came behind him through the crowd and touched his robe now you got to understand why i'm saying why i'm saying god is removing all limitations because this woman it was illegal for her to be out among the crowd. This woman had limitations. There were limitations placed on where she could go, how far she could go. Are you hearing me? She was not even supposed to be out in public. Pretty much it's like being on house arrest. Just limitations was placed all around this woman. So not only is her health diminishing, her finances have dwindled down to nothing. And this woman's, you can see the enemy really moving in to like strangle this woman. You see this? To just wipe her out and eliminate her. But this woman just wouldn't have it. <laughs> this is my kind of person here. Yeah. She just refused to give up. And the devil can't handle it. When you are that type of person, you just refuse to quit. You just dig your heels in and say, come hell or high water. I'm going to hang in there. I'm going to hang in until the breakthrough comes. Because the God I serve, he says without faith, it's impossible to please God but he that comes to God must believe that he is and he rewards those who diligently seek him that's the type of woman this was and God was about to remove every limitation of her life put your hands together and give him praise because he's about to remove the limitations on your life I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Yeah, I feel the anointing. <laughs> you know, when me and my brother was young, we would get embarrassed at my mom getting all excited and getting in the Holy Ghost. We would be embarrassed, man. And look at me now. <laughs> Her prayer was answered. You can't give up on them children because God, He has. And he answers prayer. Put your hands together and give God a praise for parents who believe God for the salvation of their kids. <laughs> I just had to put that in there. Now watch this. But I like what the Amplified Classic says. Verse 27, the Amplified says, she heard the reports concerning Jesus. She heard the reports of the miracles that Jesus had performed than all these other people and that is where her faith came from because she said if this man if the holy ghost is working through him like that i'm gonna just risk it all and cover myself up real good that they can't recognize me because if they see me they'll stew me and i'm gonna just 
take a risk. This was a calculated risk. This woman said, because listen to this. Listen to this in verse 28. For she said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made. Oh, man, she's declaring her faith. She is declaring it. And the Bible says she did it immediately. Verse 29. The bleeding stopped and she could feel in her body that she had been healed of her terrible condition. Now she is no more unclean. She is clean. Now that she is clean, this means the limitations have been removed off her life. But it takes a high priest to pronounce you as clean clean in the eyes of the people so everyone can know this miracle this is legitimate this woman is clean the priests have pronounced her clean now she can live a normal life watch this jesus in verse 30 realized at once that healing power i'm reading from the new living translation jesus realized at once that healing power had gone out from him so he turned around in the crowd and asked who touched my robe his disciples said to him look at this crowd pressing around you how can you ask who touched me we don't know there are people by the thousands then the frightened woman trembling at the realization of what was done to her came and fell down to her knees in front of him and told him what she had done and jesus said to her in front of the whole crowd this is the thing that removed the limitations. Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your suffering is over. Man, I love that. I know the King's Him said, he said, your faith have made you whole. But I kind of like this translation too, because it all means the same thing. He said, go in peace. Your suffering, glory to God, your suffering season, it's over. I dare somebody to shout it. Type below this video right now. It's over. It's over. It's over. My days of suffering, it's over. Hallelujah. Hey, my God, my God, immediately, immediately. We preached about blind body mass yesterday and now today. We see the same thing immediately, immediately. 12 years worth of problem. 12 years worth of suffering. One touch from the master. And it's completely gone. God is removing all limitations from your life. He said, daughter, your faith has made you a good peace. Your suffering is over. Everybody heard it and realized Jesus as a priest of God pronounced this woman clean she was now clean no limitations she was like a bird that got freed out of prison for you are great you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you come on saints there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else for you are great you do miracles so great god is removing the limitations of your life he is snatching the limitations off. Get ready for a new season in your life. He knows what he's doing. Listen, you can visit us online to support the work of God. We are preaching the gospel. Support this ministry. Support his work. He honors you. I know you people love what God's doing. You can visit us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. 
You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pender Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget, Pastor Sean and his lovely, beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love you guys. We care deeply about you. We really do. We love you. We really do. Thank you for viewing this video. Thank you for sharing it with your friends. And join us tomorrow morning because we are talking about God will come through for you. Yes, he will. He will come through for you. So join us on tomorrow morning for that morning prayer broadcast. And remember to share this video with your friends. Help us get this word around the world. God bless you. We love you. Take care now. Bye-bye.